Hello, this is uh, Waiki again. Uh, you know, uh, I, 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 think, uh, I think the best way to, uh, to learn English is uh, for, uh, for anybody who learns English, whether you are a beginner or uh, an advanced. Uh, the easiest way to learn, or even if you study, you can study English for only one year and be fluent. And for me, uh, as a teacher, or your, or you know, uh, the best way that I have found or uh, known that it's it's easy and it's the fastest way for students to learn is to go through all the tenses, the uh, grammar tenses in English, and there are there are a lot of different tenses. Uh, for me, I think there are 12 or more. There are probably 17 or more, but there are uh, 12 basic uh, tenses, uh, English grammar tenses that if you, if you, under, if you understand or uh, uh, once you get it, once you learn all the tenses, it will be very easy for you. Uh, uh, usually I, I number the tenses from the first one, which is the, uh, uh, I, I would say the, the present the present uh, uh, simple, the present simple tense, which is I, I would explain the, the basis way to explain it is uh, things that we do every day. Uh, between the time we were born and the time we die, things that we do in the middle. So the easiest way for me to uh, explain it is the uh, everyday things, things that we, whether we do it every day or, or or once a week or but we do it like I work. Or I, I I wake up at seven every morning, or I or I something that we do every day. Or I live in uh, Tokyo. You know things that we do uh, in life. I think that's the easiest way to say it. Uh, in English, is uh, it's uh, called the in, uh, infinitive or the the word itself. That's, that's how I just explain it to make it easy. Uh, I think it's easy for you to understand if I say it that way. So over here I will write down I live in uh, Tokyo. I live in Tokyo. I live in Tokyo. I live in Tokyo. I live in Tokyo. And then I will make the other one, uh, number two will be the past. Uh, uh, past simple. So the past simple, if you uh, turn this into a past simple, you just say, I live in Tokyo. I live in Tokyo. And then uh, number three will probably be the uh, uh, present uh, continuous. Present continuous, uh, present continuous, uh, which is the I, I am, he is. Uh, uh, the subject is uh, also what you need to understand, what you need to know. Things like I, he, she, they, it, uh, we, my father or my brother or my boss, they, Nanduka. So it's also important to know because then over here, it, which is the I live in Tokyo, you can say it to um, um, he lives, uh, if it's a he, she, it, you have to add the S. So it's uh, he, I live in Tokyo, he lives in Tokyo, or he works for the Kaisa company. Or uh, I, I live in Tokyo, he lives in Tokyo, or, or this one over here, you're talking about something you, uh, something you did over here. Whether you did over here, or you're talking about uh, a, a, a number of years, or uh, I did it for five years in the past, or or whatever. So over here, person continuous will be something like I'm, I'm, uh, I'm studying English now, or, uh, or I'm reading a book. So if you study English now, over here you study English, which is uh, now over here you study English, but. You probably be, uh, have been writing a book, so you can also say I'm writing a book, which is uh, probably from uh, three months ago. You started writing a book, and you are still writing, so you are writing a book. You can also say I'm writing a book, or I'm working at, 
uh, Toyota or Toshiba or uh, NEC or Ford or anything, or I'm working at or for, it doesn't matter. There's a little bit difference over there, but it doesn't matter. So remember that the, the, the person continues over here is either I'm studying and now over here, Ima, Kyo, now, Ima Yate Ilu, or uh, from uh, some time in the past, and then you are still. So I'm studying English, which is I have been studying English, but that is not what we're talking about. Now we are talking about the person continuous, which is I'm studying. So you can either study now or I'm studying here. Okay. And then um, you have, I, I, would say, I would say number four would be the uh, past. Uh, continuous so past continuous continuous so the past continuous will be the past because it's a past so uh, uh, over here is I'm studying so the past will be I or he is the that if it's he is then this will become he was and if whatever you use the was or the is it's a yearn which is the ing so that over here will be a yearn or which is uh, in English will be the ing for the verb so he was living he was living in uh, Tokyo or or California or or I don't know where so that is the past continuous Okay, so, and then we will uh, uh, probably go to the perfect tense, which is, it's going to be the perfect tense for the present. Uh, so the present uh, symbol, I would say number five, would be present uh, perfect. And then I will write number six, which is the past perfect. And then uh, number seven, I will put down a present, present, present perfect. And then continuous, continuous. So I will make number eight as the past perfect. Perfect. Continuous. Okay. So the present perfect continuous is something that uh, uh, you do, uh, uh, which is uh, I would say I have. Remember this one. I have have and has. If you if you, whenever you talk about the perfect, is number the third of. Uh, Third person or number three. I usually write number one, which is the infinitive, the regular function of the verb, and then number two will be the past simple or the past tense of the word. And then I number three will be the kapobunchi, kapobunchi or the uh, past participle, the uh, past participle, the pp. So if uh, I have Remember, whenever you use, if, if it's a perfect, whenever you use they have, or has, he has, or I have, you have, they have, or he has, she has, it has, always use number three, which is the past participle. So if uh, uh, Saki, we were, Saki uh, to so I have worked. Work, work, work. So I have work, which is uh, you talking about something, uh, something happened over here. Something happened over here. Whether whether you uh, uh, whatever you did over here, something that you did over here, or maybe something you start over here. But it, it goes over there. But it's not uh, over here. That for example, that about. If you say I have built my house, that means you already built your house, or I have uh, written a book. But if you say I have started building my house, 
That means you started building your house over here, but it's not finished. The house is not finished, but 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 you have already started building the house. So you don't know what when the house is going to finish, but you're talking about starting the house, which is already you already started. That's the past perfect. Or sorry, that's the uh, present perfect. Sorry, the past perfect uh, is you talking about. Uh, this is a little bit difficult because you're talking about uh, things that happened in the past. This one over here, it connects to where you are at now. Where for this one over here, you are talking about things that uh, maybe uh, uh, things that happen over here. So, uh, if you wake up in the morning and then you uh, take shower, uh, sorry, uh, maybe you take a shower before you before you eat dinner. But today it's it's not uh, night yet. So if you it's good if we use something or things that happen in the morning. So you woke up in the morning. You woke up over here and then you. Probably you woke up and ate before you took shower. Maybe over here you left for work. But over here you woke up, you can say I have woken up or I sorry, I have woken up before I I I ate breakfast. But so that what? So that what so that asakohang net net nakara tapita o kasisho. You cannot eat while you're sleeping. So I think that the, the, the example is okay, but it, it's kind of funny if you are if you eat your breakfast while you sleep. So I will use this one. I woke up over here, and then maybe, uh, it's better if I say I ate my breakfast over here, and then over here is when I took I took a shower over here. So uh, you say I had um, I had uh, I had um, I had taken a shower, oh, sorry, I had eaten breakfast before I took a shower, okay, or I took a shower after I had, um, which one, what did you do? Uh, I took a shower after I, I had, you know, my breakfast. This one over here, this, this tattoo over here, this example over here is okay, but you can eat while you're sleeping. So you had to wake up before you eat breakfast. So, but it's okay if 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 the you don't you don't only uh, talk about the tense or English, but you also have to think of the situation. You can't say I had uh, I you can't say I had eaten breakfast before I woke up because then it would be funny. That means you you ate breakfast before you woke up, which the the English that is okay. But the situation is okay. It's funny. You cannot eat unless or until you wake up first. Okay. So I hope you understand. This one gonna take a little break. Then we'll come back. Catch you later.